A hostile work environment has two parts to it. The first part is that it is a form of harassment in the workplace, so severe and pervasive that it interferes with your ability to perform your job for your employer. But the second part, equally important, of what comprises a so-called hostile work environment that is actionable for you is that the harassment has to be discriminatory in nature. It can't just be that your boss doesn't like you or they don't like the way you dress or walk or talk if it's just general. But you don't know why. You just know that you're being singled out for this hostility. I'm afraid that doesn't count. The hostility has to be because of either something about you that one of the employment laws, federal law or state law, protects against, such as a hostile work environment based on your sex, or your race, or your age, or your disability, or because you opposed discrimination in the form of unwelcome sexual attention, or because you recently completed a disability leave or a maternity leave. If it's rooted in some type of protected activity or affiliation, something about you that you can change, that severe hostility is illegal. But it has to be something that you could identify that for the reason for the hostility, not just a general hostile work environment, which unfortunately is not against the law. If you'd like to talk about your particular hostile work environment that you're struggling with, feel free to contact us for a no charge consultation, which is always confidential and privileged. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel.